Hi everyone. Good evening, everyone. Hey yo. Hi Paolo. Hello, hello. Good morning or good afternoon to you. Do you have lessons? You don't seem to have music lessons today. So seem like you are. Well, you're not early, but you are one of the first. So yay! Thanks for joining. Yay! And I think there's six pieces. I I think there's six person watching. Okay, I see six viewers. Um. Okay. <laughs> Hello to everyone. Uh, thanks for joining me today. So last week, right? Uh, we did this one. So remember, I was actually doing the sketch. It like, took me a while. Um, and I lined it uh with a technical pen. So today I'm gonna paint it, and you know, like how this month is like it's our Christmas month, and then I decided that. Yeah, we all decided that, okay, we're going to give like, we're going to have a little rest um, and there will not be any limited palette challenges, uh, like challenge. This month wouldn't be like a challenge month. So we just use whatever colors we want. And we're going to do a little collaboration, uh, Christmas card collaboration with all the... <laughs> Let's see. Why are you guys having a good chat? Oh, yeah. Well, um, mm. <laughs> you're waiting for... Oh, well, yeah, I, I did. So... Actually, it wasn't my hair wasn't a limiting factor, okay? The what the thing what that is limiting the whole thing um, is my setup because I I shifted again. <laughs> so I don't know if you know the outlet layout of my room. Yeah, maybe I should just quickly draw out. <laughs> okay, I, I am uh, oh hold on. I'm gonna draw the layout of my room. All right, hold on for a minute, everyone. I think I need to explain this. Like you'll be like, what? <laughs> Why are you changing your sp your 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 spot every time? Yeah. So oh, Paulo says that he he is uh he has just posted. Oh, okay, hey, okay, hey. Okay, I'll I will share. So later on, I'll go to Discord and check out your Christmas card. Is it for everyone to see? Because is it gonna be like a la um wait, Paulo? Is this for everyone to see? Is this for the 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 collaboration or is this? for the card that goes around like for everybody to you know uh you know the exchange yeah because i don't want to like like turn it on like i don't want to um lock in and then and then like everyone knows your card like they know what you gonna what you did <laughs> good morning nancy hello good morning to you yes that's what i was saying i'm gonna sketch out my room okay so that you know what's going on um and hello gina Yay, it's a happy Friday morning for you. And I think happy morning fr uh, um, Friday morning for Nancy as well. And Paolo says, it's watercolor. And he's like, oh, no, it doesn't. Okay, I'm going to look at it. <laughs> and oh, okay, he says, I am going to paint along on my iPad. Oh, do share with us uh, what you have done. Are you going to do something to add on to, to this room, to the room? I would love to see it. And hello. Hey, I know you're... Are you Holly? <laughs> hey, Dub. Dubs. Dubs Art. Hello. Good morning. Oh, I can show it. Right. Okay. I'll, I'll show it. So, yeah. So, anyway, I'm just going to quickly sketch out my. Um, yeah. Just to sketch it out so that you guys know what I meant when I say I move. I moved because you'd be like, huh? So, the reason why I moved is because um, RK is not here. Oh, Holly. Yay. Hello, Holly. Yeah, um, yeah, RK is not here, but um, RK was so nice. RK and, and uh, CNAR, they are so nice that they say that they wanted to kind of uh, sponsor me. Um, so as you can see, this is new. Okay, I'll, I'll share it later. Um, they wanted to sponsor like uh, maybe a few months um, of um, uh, you know a good good quality uh stream live stream, and and so I thought I needed to to kind of like do something to my setup. So okay, the problem, right? My room goes like this. Okay, so this is the room that I'm at. This is the door, right? This is another door. So I used to be that's that window here. Okay, so I used to be streaming like here. Okay, so this is where I was streaming. My router is here. So okay, router is here, right? And I was like for last two weeks streaming here. So I was like in front of the window. And um, for stable um, connection, it's like recommended that you have like a hard line, like a landline, the Ethernet line to the to the computer. So because reason why I decide to move is because I'm like against the wall. You know, I'm left, I'm right handed, right? So if I am like filming here, 
my hands gonna like I, I keep like bumping on a wall i don't like it and i don't have a lot of space because there are tons of stuff here so i moved moved here but if i were gonna be using the router i have to like like wire it like i'm gonna drag a wire across which which is like i'm not gonna do it like someone's gonna fall right <laughs> the rgms pro is gonna trip and he's gonna fall so um i moved this i'm now here okay so i am now against the wall but on the other side so <laughs> i'm i yeah but i, I kind of like this setup and i kind of reconfigure the whole place again so this is yeah this is where i am right now that's why i said i have moved and i uh yeah i like it i think it's really good so anyway let's get on to paulo's uh christmas card yay let's see what he has for us yeah i like to see i like to see like uh oh sorry sorry siri it's all good okay <laughs> siri so cute i'm so sorry i i accidentally uh, got siri out um hold on oh so what's, oh yeah i supposed to look for discord yeah discord there you go it's not bad i'm sure it's not bad hello Hello, always. Hey, hello, Ari. Hello, hello, hello. Hara, I think Ari's gonna post out his card soon. And and how about oh oh okay, Greg's not here, but I think Greg said he's gonna post out as well. So so for people who are gonna take part right in the challenge exchange, please try to send it out. I think um a few people already sent it out. I think at least three. Um yeah, three p three person has sent it out, and then I think um Ari's gonna send it out tomorrow. And I think um, Greg's gonna do that like tomorrow or like on Monday. So you got to do it. <gasps> ah, okay, okay. So I think Bullish One, uh, Zuhan has done his self portrait, but he marked it as a spoiler in case people want to avoid the submission till the end of the month. Yes. Okay. So let me show you guys that like, it's possible to do so. Um, eh, where is it under? Is it under postcard exchange? Huh? Oh, 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 people asked if, oh, yes, I did. <laughs> Paolo, do you send it to me, like, straight direct, or is it a direct thing, or is it, where did you post it? Eh? Is it under art? <laughs> yes, I see. Oh. <laughs> um, can I use your, your okay, I'm, I'm going to show everyone. So I think um, Greg was the first person. Maybe I should just show everyone. Okay, I'll, I'll show like rather than like wait till the end i want to share screen right now so I, it's so nice like we have people who they're okay i think ari ari says that he can only send it by monday it's okay I, i'm sure i will reach, uh, it will reach me so the postcard exchange um it, the postcard should reach me by like 29th of december so it's it's okay i have lots of time still and gina says that she only has ah one art table and it's a built-in table ah okay so close to the kitchen oh i don't think i want to work close to the kitchen because then you know i might be i might spend uh more time eating so this is oh uh, this is uh paulo's artwork yay i like this i like how you actually um add little like dots of colors around it it's really good so yay <laughs> thanks for that and i think i like the highlights um and and the whole thing looks so shiny so yay can i add this um to our like live um to our uh collaboration card paulo can we can, can we add can i add this one so I'm going to count it like this is probably like a, a, a submission from you, okay? I'm going to add it. So we, as you realize, we are, whoops, kind of missing a, oh, hold on. I, we are missing a, a, what is that word? A, a Christmas tree. So I probably will paint some sort of Christmas tree. Uh, yeah. Did I already, where is my Discord? Uh, yeah. Okay, hold on. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna close it. But I don't know why this card is just giving me this. I'm gonna just pick it first. Okay. 
Hey, yo. Yes, you can. Hey, yay. Thanks, Paolo. Okay, sure. No problem. And Gina says she loves ornaments with glitter. Yay. Yeah. I love ornaments with glitter too. So, Gina, are you going to submit? You can submit things to decorate a Christmas tree. So, as I was saying, I think we're missing a Christmas tree. Um, in, in this one, like we're going to paint, like we're going to, I'm going to paint this one today. Um, so, I'm. what do you think I should put like the Christmas tree if there is a, but in fact, you know, like, um, if you are following um, the Room Portrait Club on Instagram, they actually posted um, another photograph uh, from this view. So this is like from here, right? this view, but they posted another photograph of this view. And the Christmas tree is actually here, right here. Okay, <laughs> it's out of the plane, it's over there. So it's actually over here. Um, but where do you think we should have like our Christmas tree? Um, Greg, um, so Gina, are you gonna share? Are you gonna like join us? You can just post your picture. You can like I, I think you are we are on Facebook, so you can just like write send it to me by DM or something. And hello, Greg. Yo, so Greg was the first person who finished. So I'm gonna share Greg's work as well. Do you guys want like a, a, a surprise or you just want to see? I think it's nice to see, okay? I don't know. You guys want a surprise? Like so that you like kind of know, like not know what's going on. Oh, what? Okay, hold on for a minute. I'm just waiting for... Yeah, surprise, okay. <laughs> so Nancy says she wants a surprise. Okay, so yeah, Greg posted and it's so cute. Greg's work is very cute. Um, and I think Tuhan also did it. So let me just go and like look at his work. So for people who are not okay, I'm not gonna spoil it, so I'm just gonna like come. Oh <laughs> Tuhan, so cute! Oh my god, and it's so good. Where Tuhan, are you around? Where are you gonna put your self-portrait? <laughs> <laughs> so it's really good. So should I put you like like just kind of sitting like next to the to the uh, tree in a corner in one of the corner? Yeah, probably. So I might just put the tree like either here, right? I, I'm gonna like maybe put the tree here, right? If it's in a corner, someone could be sitting here. So I don't. Maybe I could like put a tree here, like maybe here over here. So what I'll be pay, I'll be doing for myself. I be gonna I'm gonna do a self portrait of my like um of me dress up as a Christmas tree. So I'll be like here. Okay. Um I know Juhan did a little sitting squatting guy. So I don't know where he's gonna he wanna sit. Like do you wanna like so what is he around? Not even sure where he is but he can be sitting behind or, or in front. We'll see how that goes. But that was so good. I, I like how he was he's leaving that that kind of a I don't know, like he, he looks okay. Anyway, yeah, we will look at it. Like you don't you don't you guys don't don't have like can't see what's what, what, what you don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so I, I don't want to show it because I know um some people want a little you know a, a surprise, so I'm not gonna share it. But I think he he drew himself, so he's gonna probably sit somewhere. So and we have Greg who actually did something, like drew someone, and we're gonna like put him maybe here, I don't know, or maybe on a chair. So yeah, nice. So who, what else? Like who wants to? Who who's thinking of doing what? Like where? It'd be fun to to kind of reserve reserve your spot. You know, I know Ari's gonna. He wants the chandelier, right? Ari wants the chandelier. Um, are you? <laughs> or you're gonna just stand around? You could be someone like you could draw a little like fruit basket. You could do something here. You can draw like a ghost coming like looking through the mirror. Oh, I think I think Zuhua wants a spot on the on the on the uh, painting, if I'm not wrong. Oh, what? <laughs> says, I am on the fireplace being on fire. No, <laughs> no, you don't want. No, don't do that. So I think you could actually put yourself. I am. I thought you wanted to hang. You want to hang yourself like like swing on the chandelier. <laughs> And I think our Nancy says, what about the art for the wall? Yeah, I think that um Zuhan is taking one of the art on the wall. So Nancy, if you want to, you can take one of that. Or you can take, yeah, you can take the window as well. You can be someone standing at the window. <laughs> paint in Heidi. Hey, Heidi. Oh no, you can. So it's up to you. You could you can paint a fruit basket, you can paint a plate of cheese, you can paint a cat sitting somewhere, you can paint uh, I don't know, whatever you want. 
So I, I am going to tell you guys, I'm going to paint myself as a tree. I'm going to dress up as a Christmas tree. I'm going to be at this corner. I think Zhu Huan has uh, taken one of the art, uh, art pieces. And Ari is going to stand at the fireplace. Uh, oh, yeah, she can. And Nancy says she's going to do stained glass on the window. Yeah, you can. So you can. Nancy could paint like the stained glass on the window. Or you can do something on the on the mirror, like someone looking out from the mirror. You can paint a bird standing here. Uh, I don't know, whichever. And I know, I know Paolo's um, uh, shiny... Um, tree decoration like christmas tree decoration is gonna be uh together with me <laughs> he could it's hung on me <laughs> the christmas tree <laughs> and greg says he, she she can paint a thai thai center <laughs> it's fun so i think it'll be a fun thing i like this kind of stuff so you know like be as weird as you can i don't know what hippo's gonna do hippo are you gonna paint a hippo and I think Greg's gonna paint a <laughs> Greg's gonna paint also a potato wearing spectacle, right? So yeah, I'm looking forward to that one. Oh, okay. How does a Thai Santa look like? Mm. Uh, wow, interesting. I have no idea. I think it's nice. Like maybe you should do a little prom. Everyone draw a Thai. Uh, the prom is a Thai Santa. <laughs> draw a Thai Santa. <laughs> what would you What would you do? You know. Okay. So I think um yeah. So uh. I think Gina says she likes my drawing. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Um, yeah, the, the good thing about this uh, place, this location that I met, is that I, I have a little, like, um, uh, what do you call this? A computer table here, right? So I can keep all my art things, all my art stuff here. And then I can, I can uh, uh, also, like, kind of, like, slot my art, like, my sketchbook in so that you guys can, I don't have to use clip so much, um, but I'm kind of infringing on uh, DRJS Pro so space. <laughs> ah, okay. So I hope that he's gonna paint something too. Oh, so he he's he might be doing something, uh, for for the uh, postcard exchange as well. So look out for DRJS Pro uh, stuff. Um, uh, art art postcard. Okay. All right. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna start painting. All right. Um, there is tons of colors over here so i don't know if i will use um <laughs> so i think greg says no idea <laughs> oh he did a japanese center <laughs> so can we or maybe we should all paint different center i don't know <laughs> and then nancy says uh, oh center wearing a tie oh smart what what else about Thai? I can only think of the people you know in the in the uh, traditional costume. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, um, there are a lot of patterns here and there are a lot of colors. So I really quite like it. Oh, poor oh, DRJS Pro, he's coughing. Are you okay? <laughs> so so a lot of people in Singapore are um are sick and down with COVID. <laughs> so I I yeah I think we are kind of safe. Huh? Yeah, 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 yes, over there. Oh, oh no, okay, okay. So he said he got choked. <laughs> okay. He was drinking water and he got choked. Okay, he was not COVID, okay. <laughs> what the what the foolish one? What are you thinking? No, <laughs> So I will do my own center. I don't know. <laughs> It'd be fun doing center since like we already have people doing center. So for people who like to do center, uh, you can try like your own version of center. So I think Greg has already done a Japanese inspired center. Uh, very, very, very smart. A traditional underwear. <laughs> What's a Thai? How does a Thai underwear look like? I don't know, like Singapore underwear. Ah, uh, I don't know, man. I really don't know. <laughs> so that's a that's a kind of interesting uh, thing to do. And oh no, Nancy says she has been sick. Yeah, a lot of people have been sick. Like I have, I know people who have been coughing, but they're not exactly. They don't really have COVID, so it's it's weird. Like a lot of people are just sick. Um, take care, okay. I think especially if you're like in. Uh, in cold country, it, it tend to, like, a lot of people tend to get, like, more flu, like, cold and flu, and COVID is more prevalent. Uh, ooh, Penny Hiding has a new new show, I mean, a new new video, so everyone, like, oh, 
oh he's gone okay she she just like oh hello hello red knight hello hello hey hey <laughs> so yeah uh and, and gina says she stay home and wear a mask if she goes out yeah i think that's the that's probably the least you can do because you can't avoid people right oh hello kathleen oh you have coffee in some farm members fam family members uh oh I, I are they are they being uh what do you call it uh quarantine like my mom my mom has covid like but she recovered um yeah and i was like wearing mask um i was cleaning up her house and i was wearing mask and i'm actually okay i have a bit of sore throat but i think i'm fine i've been like testing myself i'm still negative so i think it's okay okay i just start painting right now oh so i hope everybody please take care of yourself like wear a mask and go out drink more water uh, take vitamin c like yeah and keep yourself active okay all right i'm gonna bring uh out to my palettes like no limited palette right i don't know like what should i use ah. okay i will bring up a new palette you guys can hear me from there but yeah i like how now i have like done some organization and i have all my palettes together so that's really a nice thing <laughs> oh, okay nancy says he got real cold yesterday it dropped to snow level oh Ooh, so it's like a kind of a cold it's a like a what do you call that a, a, a cold wave or no there's always heat wave right but what do you call it? like um like a unusual uh a cold stream of air that came i hope it didn't snow though oh he said no snow right yeah don't go out keep yourself like i think keep yourself warm and and, and stay at home okay don't go out okay. ah oh Catherine says all in quarantine and mask everyone's doing well okay that's good yeah keep yourself like take a lot of vitamin c and take care okay so this is all my these are i'm just taking out all the palettes like i currently have these right um just quickly show you guys oh cold snap I don't know. Yeah, could be. I I think so. And Ari is like <laughs> always complaining about how it has been raining, right? It's just so like yeah, in Singapore as well. Like today it rained, um, and we nearly couldn't. Like I I tried to jog every evening, um, and nearly couldn't. Uh, we nearly couldn't go and jog. Like couldn't jog. So this is um one of my oldest studio palette. Like I have this palette, I think for close to five years or more. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a studio palette this is the magello um palette right i got this one i think in one of those like um events i forgot what could be like a sketching event yeah so you know i have been using this one as a palette like a plastic palette you know for for our live stream and then i recently just like decided to put it back because this is where it belongs you know um so this is these are the colors and here are like I, my palettes are always super colorful so just ignore these because i i'm sorry i don't know why i had these yeah so this is the these are the colors in this palette um i think it's missing um potter's pink so i might not be using here this one okay so this is my uh, studio palette so there's a total of how many palettes how many colors do you guys have in your studio palettes Okay, I'm just gonna quite like quickly count. Um, I have a little, 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 <laughs> six, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve plus uh twelve, like twenty-four colors here. Okay, how many colors do you guys have in your palette? Like I like to know. Okay. Um, so this is the first one. I think I kind of rejected it. Okay, then I think there's also this one that I recently put together. So, so this was actually okay. <laughs> You, I don't know if you guys feel like this looks very familiar because it's, in fact, um, the cover for my water bottle, my water container, okay? So it actually came with, um, like, these little slots and I, like, decided to put in watercolor, like, half pens and, and, and whatnot. So I think there's, like, a total of... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, 5 times 4 is 20, 20, 20, 29 colors here. So I have 29 colors here. Um, so how I organize this is like this is according until here, it's according to like the color wheel. All right. And then here are all granulating colors. Like then I decided to do like a granulating version. So yeah, who oh, yeah. So I have 29. All right, over here, this one. So this is a new one that I just put together. Because I have this for so long, I haven't done anything. Uh, wait, let's see. Kathleen says she has six. <gasps> just six? <gasps> what? <laughs> How come? <laughs> you have 27. 
Oh, okay, with several palettes. Okay, <laughs> okay. I'm like, no, how can you just have six colors? 27 and some are gouache. And a lot are not getting repurchased once you do. Oh, no, what? Which are not? <laughs> it's a... Uh, uh, what's that color that I hate? Um, is dioxazin violet one of them? Yeah. And this one is the the my Urban Sketching palette. So I bought this one for the uh, Asialing Sketch Walk. And I have uh, <laughs> 24 colors here. Um, and it's nice because there is this... Um, yeah, I, I think it's it's very light because it's made of wood. All right. Um, and and I... Yeah, I like this. I, I see Potter's Pink here. Okay, I have Potter's Pink here. So... I might use this one and it has my favorite um i kind of like the um the queen scarlet a lot like recently but yeah i'm not sure there's also um the volcano red which i also really like so i might use this one yeah so yeah <laughs> so much to choose from ah <laughs> ari says studio palette <laughs> my studio palette have all the colors <laughs> except raw umber an orange, hey? Oh yeah, I actually don't really have orange. Oh, let me just kind of check. No, no, I do have. So this one have I have a brilliant orange, I think. Yeah, it's a it's a very difficult color to get. Like you can't get this color at all. Um, if you want a very very bright color like orange, you have to buy like the color. I mean the paint. You you can't you can't just go like and mix because it's just not bright enough. Like, if you really want the fluorescent, fluorescent kind, that's no way. Okay, so this one here, yeah, I don't think I will use this one, but um, I am I am missing some colors. I'm not sure. Okay, I, I'm just going to try and use, uh, yeah, I'm just going to use my sketching palette, okay? So, so much <laughs> for going through. <laughs> and Gina says, I have so many palettes, it's fun to put them together. <laughs> hey, yeah, I know. Like squeezing them into small half pens and then putting all of them into small boxes. Oh, I love to do that too. <laughs> but to use them is another thing. <laughs> Orange rocks. Yeah, it's, it's quite a nice color. It's kind of interesting. Like you, it's so difficult to mix a, a good orange. Like you can never mix a good orange. Like the best orange is always like from the tube. Like the, those POs. I definitely need to get those. So, okay, I I'm just going to use this one. Okay, I'm going to use my Asian Sketchwalk uh, palette, okay? But this one doesn't have a very big palette. Like, this is pathetic. Like, I'm, I don't know why. <laughs> ah, I use it to, I don't really use this one. Okay, so I uh, will use um, my palette. So, I have a palette, right? A palette to use a uh, flat, like little small palette. Ooh, why is it so dirty? Ah, and then uh, my water container and I'm going to start to paint. Uh, right, I'm going to like kind of look at it a little bit. Do you think, hmm, no, I think I will, yeah, I'll go with, I'll go with what I like, the colors that I like. I'm going to go like kind of warm with this one and I'm going to add a bit of accent in like, like I'm going to keep this very pastel, pastel, so it'll be a pastel, card okay it wouldn't be very like strikingly red because then the the characters won't stand out so yeah i'm gonna keep it pastel and beautiful and cute uh greg says i never had an orange on my palette i ordered that new granulating orange for romance what ah oh i should get that one too <gasps> heaven a water container or water tub I don't know. It's the same thing, I guess. It's like a kind of a wash bucket. <laughs> I will call it a wash bucket as well. Like um, this is to wash, right? The 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 brush. This is like clean. This is clean. So okay. This is to wash. This is clean. This is cleaner. So this would be like the last one that I will like. I always wash, wash again, and then like dip in this one before I like take the color. So I don't like kind of mix. It. Like I don't make my paint very like uh, muddy um okay let's start okay i'm feeling good about this i i'm like liking this setup okay and this is a sponge right um we, i remember i used to use this like super dirty cloth i threw that away because i can never get it to clean and i decided to get this like sponge which is very hard okay i think it's okay so yeah, i'm just gonna start painting which orange do you um what's the 
uh, the Roman Smalls um, New Granulating Orange. What is the, uh, what's that word? What's the pigment information? Uh, what's the pigment number? V, are you around? <laughs> ah, I don't remember this stuff. Okay. I, um, so first thing first, I will spray, like just kind of wet this uh, palette. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to do it like that. Okay. So spray. So I think this is really important. Um, I hope the... Um, what's that word? I don't hope the wood's not gonna like die on me. Um, okay, then I'm going to just paint. So the good thing is I don't have to draw, which is good, so I can concentrate on painting. Um, and I will use um hmm, what brush should I use? I have so many brushes to choose from. Mm, probably one of the flat. So this is the flat. Ah, Greg says, do not remember. Okay, we'll know once it arrives. Oh, oh, PO86, Bismuth. Ah, Bismuth is... Okay, I think I think probably Paolo knows this better than me, but I think Bismuth is, is kind of like uh, opaque, right? Like... <laughs> and Holly says she loves the wooden, the wood palette. Yeah, it is beautiful. It's so nice. Like, I think the good thing is that it's... Um, it's uh, there are magnets. So there are magnets here right here um and and here as well and you could and and over here so you could just close and it, it will like hold um uh, it, it, it the the slots in place and in fact this little hole you can put a little like cup this is for you to mix i don't use this one you can put a your 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 brush here so it's really nice and i think the best thing for me is it's very very light um it, it weighs i think Maybe about 500 grams or something. So I, I, you know, compared to the metal ones. But of course, um, my only problem, like I think they, this one has is it's very, um, it is very, uh, it does not have a big mixing area. So it will be a problem to paint. Okay. I think DRJ is supposed to scold me <laughs> for using his space. Okay. I'm infringing on <laughs> his space. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, I'm painting with a new cheaper palette. It's called Hippie Crafter. Ooh, okay. That's interesting. You like it? Okay, I, I think Gina, Gina knows a lot of these. Um, yeah, she she's like kind of the, the person to go to if you want to buy something new. She knows all the new brands, the good brands. So I will probably just use... Uh, yeah, maybe I'm thinking maybe I will. You know, it has been a while since I actually painted. <laughs> okay, I will use a raw umber. Raw umber. This is the Hobin one. Okay, I'm gonna just kind of not use a lot of it. I'm gonna use the raw umber. Just to add a bit of warmth. Or should I just okay? I'm gonna just try to okay, I'm gonna mix it here. This is the raw umber. I might mix it with a bit of uh transparent yellow. Oh, it's too yellow. Mm, I don't like it. Um, okay, I'm gonna use more of that raw umber. So this is to kind of I, I want to do a base, but I'm not sure if that's a good choice because then the colors might come off because you know how um, raw umber is um not granulating. So it, it's granulating, so it will not, it's not staining, so it might just come off. So I think what I'll do is I'll just use instead, uh use the uh what is that? Um Aussie red gold. Okay, so that would be like half the base. Okay, I, I'm just no note that I don't have the washi tape around here. So okay, I'm just hoping that it will um yeah, it, I will paint carefully. Um, so it does not look like this color, but I will use the powder pink over it. Um, yeah. So now I'm just like very carefully adding a bit of water. I'm just trying to get the colors in all the colors painted. Uh, and I'm just going to slowly just fill them, like um, just put a base first, like have the base. And then we'll see what we want to do from there. Uh, yeah. Okay. It just be I need to be very careful. <laughs> so this is this is how it is. As you can see, I'm I'm trying not to have the color. I'm hoping it will not, it's not too strong though. Yeah. 
Oh, hello. I haven't tried the new colors, so I don't know. Although I've watched Eve Bolts and Lee and Ghost review, I cannot remember the details. Sorry. Oh, it's okay. Oh, okay. These last two weeks have been rough at work. Oh no, what happened? Do you want to share? Do you want us to help? Like, I don't know. Will it, will you feel better to share with us what happened to you? Oh, what happened at work? Like for us, um, at my place, because it's like the holiday season, right? I I think work is fine like i don't have tons of work i would say i don't have but there's work but it's manageable like we don't have a lot of inquiries um and yeah it's just more quiet i think and people like um, are all on leave so you know i don't get a lot of weird demands and then weird and, like questions and stuff so i i'm happy i'm happy as it is uh, where i am working at <laughs> so that's 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 my place um but of course, if you're working retail, I'm sure this is the busy, busy per period. You probably your 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 workplace probably makes most of your um like the yearly income like this year, like at this time point in time. <laughs> Gina says, "Oh, that brush is beautiful. I want it." <laughs> okay, this one I got it from um uh, what's that word um Jackson's right. So this is uh the flat brush called Midas. Midas Touch. Okay, that's the that's the brand. Um, the problem I have with it is that this, I don't know, like this wooden part, the wood part, it didn't last like I think like two or three weeks into the the like using, like on me using it, it started like to kind of crack and, and I had to like, yeah, I had to use like varnish, nail varnish over it. Which is a shame. Like I think, like I have the rosemary for so long, and the rosemary doesn't give way. I mean, until just recently, um, yeah. So I'm a little bit disappointed with this one, but but it's other than that, it's actually okay. Okay, so yeah, that's just my first layer. All right. And Paul says, oh, it's the end of semester. Ah, a lot of things to do, a lot of bureaucracy. Yeah, we all know about bureaucracy. You know how <laughs> I this is the part I really hate. Like um, I, I work in a government um body agency. So there are a lot of clearing, clearing mails. Um, like you have to okay, what we meant by clearing email is like your the content of your email has to be seen by your superiors and their superiors and their superiors and they have to like like they have to clear it <laughs> before it goes to the next level so an email takes so long to to be sent so i mean <laughs> it's just an email people so i really don't know why it's it's like that but i think it's a culture like it, it, they just nobody wants to make a mistake, you know. So they are be, being like extra careful, uh, when they do stuff like that. Uh, yeah, I mean, I can't blame them. I think that's that's how it is. It has been done uh, for all the time, and this is what people do, and that's why they do it. So there, that's bureaucracy for you. Um, okay. <laughs> yeah i hope not i hope you didn't have like a flaring of tempers yeah, for me it's just uh yeah just i think i am I, I i always do like internal ro eye rolling when that happens but i i understand how it is necessary but yet you know like i'm i don't i'm the kind who does not i don't like extra stuff I don't like to do extra unnecessary work, but somehow, sometimes that's just how it is. Yeah, but that's that's work, and some sometimes you just can't change it. That's how the the place is, the culture is. So I hope your place is not like that. Okay, so I am being very slow here. Like I'm just trying to make the colors. Uh, I'm feeling that this is. I'm uh, not. I'm kind of streaky here. Yeah, I feel the colors a bit not so even. Yeah. Okay. I I'm gonna extend this one. So I am going to just use my um, pioneer smaller brush. Okay. Hold on. Uh, 
Okay, I have this one for the brushes. So I'm like, I'm happy that I'm actually getting more space. Feel, kind of. And I'm like pretty close to the aircon. Like I have my eye conditioning unit is just this way, like here. So I think it might affect the painting. So you know how, you know, when you get a win, you might get your, your, your paint might like dry a bit faster. So that's what I think is happening. I feel like my paint is drying faster. But it's okay. I just have to watch out for this. Okay. So yeah, what have you guys been doing? Like buying stuff? Or who else wants who else sending over their their Christmas uh like cards? Because yeah, we we are having a few people sent in. So I just wanna like have a little heads up. Like Nancy, are you sending it out soon? Um I know a few people are. And um yeah okay so today i am pretty close to my router so i'm hope i'm hoping that you guys can hear me fine and there will not be you know how sometimes you get the we off, when we offend the um uh, stream god <laughs> and then we get like a kind of a weird thing like we we, we will get some sort of a um thing that happened with the like it will be there'll be some some laggish some sluggish sluggish lag and it will be uh, uh, time for everyone to say goodbye. <laughs> so yeah, I hope today, because I'm close to the, the uh, Wi-Fi, the Wi-Fi, this is not, that is not going to happen. And I think I will be, uh, I hope to see a big improvement when I get um, my um, adapter, because I'm using a MacBook Pro. And the thing about MacBook, right, is that it does not come uh with a port with a uh what's that word it does not come with the ethernet port so i need to buy a, a converter so i will be uh, adapter i mean I'm, i will be i'm getting a USB C um uh, ethernet convert uh adapter and uh yeah i should be getting it i i ordered it and it should come soon and I hope to be able, you know, I hope that will solve the issue. Like, I always think that it's my problem, you know. <laughs> Stream crisps, crisps too. Nice work with the Oh. <laughs> no, no, I, I don't think I actually use, um, I don't think I was being very careful at all. Um, I'm, I'm really just squiggling, you know, like I'm just squiggling uh, stuff as well. Um, I'm not the kind who would draw like line for line. I used to do that, but I think as as you as you paint, as you go along your uh, as you get more experience, the longer you are um, at do at, at um, your uh, art, right? The less you care about these details. You know, last time I used to count. Uh, if I paint a, like a block of flats, you know, Singapore, we have flats, right? Like condominium, um, stuff like that. I would count the windows. I would count the level and I would follow. I'll make sure I follow it. But now I don't, I don't care. <laughs> I don't know if it's good or if it's bad. Yeah, but I think it's con inconsequential. It's just a very small thing. So yeah, no one's going to think that like, care if you miss out one level so yeah i don't do that anymore yep. Ooh. <laughs> you're trying <laughs> yeah i don't know i i feel like you know once it, it comes with experience because you know when you first started right with drawing um you do not know how things would be um so what i'll do i'll do is i will just paint everything like if I can see it, I'll, I'll draw it. If I can see it, I'll paint it. So that, that's how I approach it, you know. But I'm thinking I should get another brown. So I am going to use this is raw umber from uh, Hobby. Okay, so I'm using the gothic, gothic, gothic <laughs> brown oxide. I think it's gothic brown oxide, if I'm not wrong. So this one is slightly more reddish. Okay, I'm gonna use it. I don't know where. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna use. I don't think that's a very big difference, but yeah. Mm. Okay. 
So there's gonna be like tons and tons of colors here, I hope. It will be pastel though. Like I like, I think I like it to look pastel. Uh, yeah, because if you want those like Christmas styles to, to, to stand out, you know. Yeah, so what other, have you like bought, are you all buying Christmas present or have you bought Christmas, your, done your Christmas shopping or have you not, or are you not going to, like what's the state of it right now? Pretty beige. Yeah, it is quite, it is a nice beige color. So I quite like this one. So I think this was um, the color that I first learned of this color, the um, this one, the Gothic, Gothic, Gothic brown ochre. Or is it outside? I think it's ochre. I, I, I got to know this one from uh, Jane uh, Blando because I did her... Uh, workshop so she did a very rare workshop uh, is it rare but uh, she did a workshop um i think she exclusively do workshops with um uh urban sketches and i that time i think i did a workshop with her and she she that's one of the colors that she she put in her palette but that was many years back so i'm not sure if she still uses them um yeah but i i kind of I like her choice. I think she is a extraordinary um, artist. Like her color theory is so good. She knows so much colors, and yeah, I think she's pretty famous as well. I think almost everyone who does art knows her, uh, or at least urban sketches know her. Yeah, so I I got to know this color because I attended her class, and I think since then she kind of influenced me in a lot of like art things that I choose, like especially colors that I choose. And the kind of the theory that I, I have, like I know. So yeah, very, very talented lady. And I like I like her things. I think she also made a few, like she did a few uh what do you call that? Uh books, right? And and yeah, so if you are into watercolor like us, all of us here, yeah, like get her books. Or if you can sign up for her workshops. But I think she does most of her workshops on doing um, the Urban Sketches Symposiums. And this year, is it's at uh, Argentina. So I think it's pretty close to people in the States. So if you guys are like traveling to the Latin America and you don't really, you know, you, you don't, you, you're you okay, you know, like you fit your your uh, schedule, yeah, do, do, do join. I, I believe she's gonna, she most of the, I think she made like most of the time, she would be, she would do like a, class so yeah very nice person to learn uh -huh, okay so you were watching jane on a video you bought the daniel smith set from watching her ah nice <laughs> yeah i support her i think and she does like her video her she does a lot of swatches in her website she has like almost all the swatches i i think i use it a lot use her website a lot so there's also another website recently that I use a lot. That's the set tuner. <laughs> I think it's now called artistpigment.org. And it's like the Bible of all my, like, like pigments. It has everything in it. It's just madness. They have all, like, I cannot imagine how much time they spend doing, uh, you know, uh, the I don't know who, anyone know like set tuner or that um, uh, the pig, artistpigment.org. I think it's it's just crazy like how much work they put in. Yeah, I really like to thank them. Like maybe I should like donate, <laughs> give them a little donation, just thank them. Ah, oh, Nancy says, uh, oh, I know her because she and Fugo Crafter come up in searches when I look for watercolor substitute colors. <laughs> oh yeah, she and uh, Frugal Crafters, they are like the OG, like one of the earliest or, or one of the, 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 the best people to, to learn from. They know tons of stuff, especially um, Jen, Jane is very good with watercolor. Uh, she knows all, like almost all the watercolor. Uh, like, yeah. I think our V is getting close, like right? Like she is going to be one of, starting to become uh, like one of them. And um, yeah, and I think it's it's uh, the Lin Lindsay, the uh, frugal crafter, she she does tons of stuff as well. Like I think she do crafts and, and it's just so good. Like how she, she know so much stuff. I don't know how they do it. 
so yeah interesting people to 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 know, learn from i think also a few other people uh that uh, a few like that you guys mentioned as well okay i will i will paint um the floor right now so very gingerly like carefully i'm gonna paint it this is with uh, mahogany brown so mahogany brown is also in my urban sketches palette urban sketching palette yeah it's one of my favorite like brown i actually use it uh in like to in instead of uh burn sienna because of the granulation you see like how beautiful it is the granulation so today i am painting really really slowly and carefully because it's kind of an illustration like style if you can see so in fact you know if you have um if you want to you can also like uh, line like you can download and then you can line over it with uh, your ipad and then you can paint this on uh, do it as a digital painting if you want to so yeah feel free to use it oh no okay greg says there is a woodpecker outside my house huh a window is it too cold for birds or something <laughs> How, what, what temperature is it over there? Is it like 10 or, or less than that? And then like, is it like pecking at something? <laughs> and then, oh. Oh yeah, I mean, frugal crafter helps Gina gets new paint. <laughs> Gina is uh, always so supportive um, and, and trying out new paints so adventurous you know like there are people who always stand by a certain color like for most of their life like they're kind of afraid to try new ones so i think gina is like kind of like uh, very adventurous you know she she tries out new paints and yeah i think that's a that's a way to approach life you know sometimes like um i know someone who only uses sennelier uh and i'm like mm. <laughs> I think that the reason he gave me was um, because he wanted to be really good at it um, and he doesn't want to change because he feel like the if you change too much you, your style like you might the style might go off yeah oh you just trace it and sell it as original great <laughs> I can you can it's fine it's your work <laughs> remember to add those like things it's looking kind of bad you know <laughs> Seven degrees. Oh, it's cold. Ah. Oh, not. No, no, no. It's too cold for me. Okie doke. Right. So I've done all my Christmas shopping. Um, you know how I sometimes do give Christmas present uh to the people with my fa family members. Um and I got them uh from Taobao. Yay! <laughs> I got it from um, uh, the 11 11, uh, you know, the Chinese uh, 11 11, the singles day, where they have these like uh, uh, cheap, cheap stuff, you know. So I, I kind of was, I used that chance, the opportunity to buy all my Christmas stuff. Got a nice discount at the same time. So I know that this is how I kind of approach. Uh, my my uh, November um, now like I will buy most stuff when there is like a discount um, yeah I no longer buy things like full price then again I don't know <laughs> maybe they've done that already they already done a full price like it, when they sell you without the discount it's like the the price that they maybe they included like like increase a uh, 20% uh, so you're paying more for the actual product. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. You know. Then next, I will start to use... Uh, wow. Okay. Right. What color do you think I should use for this one? Okay. So this is a really dark, like, velvety, like, uh, eggplant color. I'm not going to use the Alhuzin purple, right? No. Right, what color would you use for this? Okay, I'm gonna like just share this picture so that you guys can see the picture. Ah, uh, okay, I have to present. Okay, hold on for a minute. I need to look for it. Oh, okay, where's my photograph? 
Oh, and I think Kathleen says, we have a lot of woodpeckers here. They find in the cold weather. Oh, what highest temperature where you are is what? One to six? Huh? That's so cold. That's madness. But I can't. I think I will die. I cannot imagine a winter. I, I don't know how people survive. You guys are so strong. Okay. Let me check. Let me let me share. Okay. I'm going to open it. Okay, then I will share. Uh, there. Share screen, share screen, share, share, share. Right, so this is how it is right now. Okay, so this is the this is the one, right? This one over here. So this is this one. Like what color? I think paraline blue, paraline violet. Ari says manganese violet. Ari, manganese violet is <laughs> Let me check. Do I have manganese violet? I don't think I have manganese. Uh, should I? Let me go and look for. I don't know. I don't think I have a manganese violet. Can you can you give me a, a brand like Hobby? Like who has manganese violet? Okay, I'm just gonna Google it. Manganese violet. Violet. Ah, what a color. Okay, let's see, huh? Who has it? Daniel Smith has it. Does it? Oh, okay. <laughs> ah. Okay, I don't have. Okay, so. Uh, oh, interesting. Okay, I will just quickly show you guys this one. Okay. Um, Jackson's art did a small thing. Did a little write write up on it. Schminky? I don't have schminka. I don't have I don't have this color. Uh, okay, I'm gonna quickly share screen with you guys. Look! Like Jackson did a little thingy. Like did Jackson did a little uh feature, like a little write-up. So these are the colors. Oh, this is pretty nice. Oh, this is PD29. Okay, so I think manganese violet is probably in the middle. So it's a reddish purple inorganic pigment, right? It's a uh, low thinning strength with the spooky character. Explore the history. Oh, it's used by Monet. Okay. And how to get the most out of it in mixture. So this is how it actually looks like. Pretty nice. I think it's quite a nice color. Oh, it's PV16. Uh huh. Ooh, okay. Tyron Purple. Indian dye made with uh, mucus of sea snail. Ew. Oh, that's disgusting. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, so I think it's, this is probably oil. So they're saying that violet is closer to blue, purple is closer to red. Okay, so it's <laughs> known as violet, okay. Oh, nice, oh, oil canvas, really nice colors. Okay, so I think manganese violet is nicely done. In, oh, it's such a nice, it's quite a nice color. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Oh, it's rather unsaturated, slightly dull, dull, uh, average tinting, poor covering power. But it's nice though. Like I like how the color looks. And the mixing part. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mixing with the complementary color gets all the browns. And then, yeah, these are, I think it's with oil, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, oil mixture. Interesting. Yeah, I think this is a very nice uh, uh, write-up. From, from them, from Jackson's art. Interesting. All right. Okay, but I don't have it, unfortunately. So we got to think about like something else. Hey, should I use a paralene maroon? But I, do I have a paralene maroon anywhere? Oh, how? Oh, yeah. Okay, paralene maroon. It's not purple though. So I'm going to share. Paralene violet. Yeah, I think that would be a good color. Yeah, let me look for Perlin, Perlin Violet. I don't have the color. No. <laughs> Dioxazine <Dialysis> Purple. <laughs> I don't want to use Dioxazine. Yeah. I guess. Uh... Oh gosh, I don't remember what color I have now. Uh... Oh, how about... Oh, I do have this color called Mask Violet. Okay, I'm not sure about Mask Violet. Does 
that's violet, that's violet, M-A-R-S. Okay, I, I'm going to quickly show you how the color looks like. So it's a very dull brownish violet brown color. So this is, yeah, it's, can you see it's like more brown than is purple? This one. So this is, yeah. I think it will work. Yeah, I think it will work. Okay, I'm, I'm going to try it right now. Okay, I'm going to try it. So this is with Perlin. Uh, no, no, this is mass Violet. So this is uh, from uh, Hobin. Okay. So this is one of those. But I think Perlin Violet is probably like the color to use. Probably better. I'm really quite careful though. Uh, because it's pretty dark. Okay. Yeah, I think it, will, it works. Yay. <laughs> so as I'm painting here, right? For the RGF Pro's shoe, running shoe has uh is broken. <laughs> the sole has split. Is it? Sole has split from the rest of the shoe. So it's like sitting there, like trying to stick it back with the super glue. Are you using super glue? I think epoxy. <laughs> Poor thing. <laughs> ah, mask violet. Okay, so Greg says, uh, mask violet, the color pencil from Darwin drawing line is one of my favorite. Kind of a grayish lavender, though. Yeah, but the one that I have here is like perlene violet. I think it's kind of close. <laughs> oh, Ari says, I need to buy a tube of perlene violet since the colors are. Ah, yeah, it is. I think perlene maroon and perlene violet are one of the. Like one of those like really dark colors that they are so under underrated, you know, that I hope that we will be able to use. I don't think we've used perlene violet before, and I think manganese violet too. I uh, haven't used any of those colors, but I, I am I am kind of working on our new uh challenge, um, and yeah, I'm still working on it because it has I need to do quite a lot of uh, research on the uh, pigments. So it might take a yeah I, I I am yeah I'm working on it. <laughs> it's currently work in progress. Okay, and uh, I will share like when when the new year uh when when we start with January again, uh we we will uh yeah I will unveil like and we will have a new uh pigment roulette 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 yeah it'd be fun. Okay, okay there. All right. So this is this is color. This is a nice color. Okay, so this is the the perlin, uh, this is the mask violet, and I decided to also paint uh, the, the chair, the legs, uh, with the same color. Okay, the uh, stuff. All right. Okay, good. Okay, so I'm happy. I think this is quite a nice color. Ah, apparently maroon, violet, greens are super useful. Yeah, I agree. I like perlene green as well. But it's a very dark green color, but it's so nice. I actually have it, uh, I think, in this palette, if I'm not wrong. Oh, it's, I, I'm using zoocyte, <laughs> but it's a similar like, concept. Yeah. I might use this one, though. Well, like, I'm going to use this um, for for the... like. Can you see like all the colors that I use are also granulating? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, like it's just me, la. I like granulating colors. So I'm uh okay. What what about the okay? Okay, the, the this table is pretty interesting. I, I realize that it's empty. So I hope someone someone's gonna paint something here, right? I hope someone's gonna add something here. If not, I'm gonna have I don't know. I'm I don't know what I'm gonna do. Draw someone sitting here, okay? Someone. <laughs> Oh no, you cannot find your headphone and this bird would not stop. Are you able to like open up your window and like spray it with water or something? Or like give it a like shout? <laughs> oh no, <laughs> poor thing. <laughs> poor Greg. Okay, right. So next, I think I will... Uh, okay, I, oh wait, wait. Before that, I'm going to show you guys the... the, the and Gina says she loves granulation too. Yeah, we all love granulation, don't we? It's very unpredictable. I know I like it when it's unpredictable. I know some people like prefer like a lot of artists, um, watercolorists, 
they prefer things to be a little bit more predictable. So they are not into uh, granulating colors, uh, only like if necessary, you know? Yeah, but I, I like it when it's not predictable. <laughs> so I, I love, I, I think it's, it's just fun to use. So let me think, uh, okay, I, should I start to paint uh, the, I think I'll paint the wall already. Like I'm gonna start to paint the wall. So I will make like a mixture uh, of volcano red at the top. And then I will uh, put a mixture of uh, potter's pink as well, okay? So I'm gonna have to scrub the colors because you know how funny thing, only well, funny thing, but these two colors, they are so difficult to get out from the right hand. So I'm gonna use something like this. So this is like kind of a scrub. Like I use this to lift things, so I'm gonna scrub stuff. Oh, okay, sitting on the floor to sit. Oh, nearest tree is 40 feet away. I don't think Shanti is gonna do anything. Uh I was gonna say throw a stone, but I don't think you should. And I don't think you'll he you'll be you'll be able to reach him. <laughs> oh, you use vinegar water to keep them off the house. Oh, Okay, does that work? Like they hate, like they don't like the smell or something? And Greg says, oh, but Kenner Red looks so nice, but it's so pricey. So I know I'll be precious about it. Yeah, you should be. But it's a, such a nice, it's, it's, I love it. I think it, it just gives so much character to stuff. You can use it wherever. Okay, uh, wait, I was going to use, uh, oh, I was going to scrub. Okay. <laughs> So sorry. Okay, let me do a bit of scrubbing because I need the color to. Oh, but if I scrub with this, okay, never mind. Okay, I'll just scrub, scrub, bang, scrub, scrub. So, okay, I'm gonna put the color over here. Okay, then I'm gonna put it on the palette like this. Okay. Okay. Should I just use this brush? Beavers, beavers. I think they are scary as well. I, I do they do they destroy houses? I'm just wondering. Like we never. Um, I, sh I'm I'm afraid to say. Like I don't think we. I have a, a have encountered a beaver in my life. I don't even think I've seen one in my life. I'm not even sure if the zoo has it. Um, yeah. So the thing about beaver, um, are they cute? Or like, what do you guys think of it? Like, is it a pet or or what? Like, even raccoons, I think they are pretty cute as well. So I'm sorry, my my <laughs> my potter's pink is contaminated. So now it's like looking a bit like purple as well. Oops. Okay. Now I'm I'm not afraid that it might it will not dry. Uh, it will not form a hard line because uh, I am uh, the um potter's no the volcano red is liftable so yeah it should be i should be able to easily get the colors out like this so we, we, you know we're gonna get a bit of like uh i'm gonna have it have um a bit of granulation like graduation 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 granulation ah. yeah so this is how it will look okay so there will be a bit of kind of a granulating thing And then uh, the bottom here, yeah, this is the potter's pink, okay? Oh, so Gina says, I mess up my girl's lip, this color stain. It's fine. It is fine. I don't ever get it perfect. Ah, okay. It's, it's okay. Wooden house, not brick. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think that's kind of scary. Like, I don't know if if uh, beavers will will like destroy your house. Just like how I think in Singapore, uh, what's scary, right? Like the the number one pest is probably um, termites. <laughs> like it's it's like most feared. If you stay in a house, it's like the most feared because you do not know if you get termites in your room. Uh, you know, it, it might cause your house to, or like trees to topple, because there are a lot of trees, there are a lot of trees in Singapore and it can be quite dangerous uh, if, if you know, they, they, they are like 
chewed through uh, by termites. Yeah, so that's that's pretty scary. Oh, Greg, I've never done anything to anyone's house. Oh, okay, <laughs> they just made me just cute. Okay, <laughs> found a big monitor lizard in the ah oh like now. Oh, okay. And, and what do you do with the big monitor lizard? Um, you uh, catch it. Do you get the zoo to come and catch it? So in Singapore, if you find a pest, like a snake or something, you can actually get, uh, I think, the zoo or like NEA, like the National Environment Agency. They, they will come and like take it from you if you see a snake. Oh, Okay, we have tons of otters in Singapore, <laughs> and they 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 eat fishes, <laughs> they eat people's fishes. <laughs> oh no, even beavers. Ah, they are. So, what do you do to them? Do you like catch them or like do you kill them? Ah, they look so cute. I I don't know. <laughs> oh, so Holly Holly has this question about monitor lizards. I don't think they eat people. Do they? Uh, Ari, do they? <laughs> do monitor lizards eat people? I don't think they do. Like, but I heard that their um saliva can be very poisonous. Like it's supposed to has like have tons of bacteria in, in them. And and you you shouldn't like you you should try try to avoid getting like bitten by them. Yeah. Oh, he just ran away. Oh, use dynamite on your den. Oh no. Okay, okay. <laughs> Do you like, oh, okay. Oh, I, I don't know. I feel sad for them. Uh, okay, have enjoyed your, your music class, okay? Uh, hope you have a great time today. Play beautiful music. Bye-bye, Paolo. Thanks for your, um, your, your Christmas tree decoration. So next week, we're going to put it together. And it will look nice. Okay, I'm going to draw myself. I don't know when, but one of these days, I will draw myself. Like, definitely before. Um, next week, I'm going to draw myself. Ah, that's Kodomo. Okay, a Komodo. So Komodo is the other one. So there's actually Monitor Lizard and Komodo. Komodo Dragon is the kind that would have like the uh, very poisonous saliva, right? Okay, I'm sorry. I think Monitor Lizard is just, okay, it's just, it's just a Monitor Lizard. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think, uh, I think recent, oh, was it two or three uh, streams back, uh, week, months back, Ari did paint, right, um, a, a, a Komodo dragon, uh, and, and we, we kind of like talk about it. So they, they are pretty, uh, pretty scary. Why do, why, why does my potter's pink, why is my potter's pink so, so purple? So now I'm trying to fix my potter's pink. <laughs> like I'm trying to fix this. Oh, it's just so red. Okay. But I like the granulation though. Like I like how, how you know I could just top it. Now I feel like it's a bit of cobalt violet as well. So it's it's just very granulating and just looking patchy, but I like it. I like it patchy. And then I'm gonna add those. I'm gonna add more of my um uh, potter's pink. Why is my potter's pink so purple? <laughs> ah. Okay, over here. Okay. Some more. More of hobo violet. I feel like I need to just paint this. I'm just gonna paint it though. I'm just gonna paint it and whatever goes on top goes on top. So it does not matter. Okay. And then I'm gonna use more the uh, uh volcano red and I am just going to paint it through like this. And I think here as well, because this is kind of like the wall, right? So and I believe um this one here is oh it's okay i'm just gonna paint it through as well okay so this is just the wall okay yeah all righty okay next is um more more oh do i have that color i think i have that color okay just give me a moment like like go and look for that color i have this particular color um, that I want to use for the um, the uh, cushions, the uh, stuff on the cushion. Okay. So there. Okay. Uh, let me just take a look. Mm -hmm. It will do well with a bit of um, 
Should I use... Um, okay, before that, I will use a bit of green. So I, I will use probably the Zoizite. Zoizite? Zoizite? Okay, this one. So this is the... Um, this is from Daniel Smith. It's like a very deep green color over here. Okay, this is a very deep, 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 like darkish green color. I'm going to use it. Okay, so this is a kind of a rustic, rustic, like uh, painting. Yeah, I want to keep it very cool, um, like warm and, and just, you know, um, inviting. Okay, I'm not going to make it very high chroma. It's just going to be soft, muted, like, and like, uh, non not too menacing, like not too strong a color because we want our people to stand out more. Okay, I need to add a bit of yellow. So I will for the flames. Okay, so I just kind of offer thought. Okay, a little bit too much. And then I'm going to throw in the TPO, right? My favorite. It's a flame color. I think I have... TPO in my palette, in all my palette, almost. So one of the, it's very important. It's like kind of a red. Oh, so sorry, you can't see it. Ah, it's actually here. There. <laughs> can't see it. Okay, so it's looking, looking okay. I'm slowly, slowly putting in the details. I will add, um, just thinking what color. I think I'm just going to use my uh, gothic uh, brown ochre. Right for these details on the the stool. I don't know. Is this a stool or a chair or something? So I will just paint it through, and then I might just use another colors to just kind of add like some difference. Oh, TPO transparent pyro orange T. Trans, transparent, pyro, orange. So it's like kind of a deep uh, orange, red color, and it's transparent, and it's so nice. It's one of my favorite colors. Uh, this. <laughs> oh, Aris, Aris say that oh, Kom Komodo dragons are scary, but the island they lived in are. It's so beautiful. Like, but are they like uh, confined to a like small area on the island, or are they are allowed to like run around, or like people just kind of like let them do whatever they want? Okay, doke. All right, so this is how it now looks like. I will add a bit of like um, I'm thinking some blue. Like, should I add lavender? Instead, let me just kind of look at it again. Um, okay. Maybe. Maybe just a bit of that. Of this pinkish color. Here and there. Okay. Just for the texture. So please, people, add something to this. Nancy, are you gonna do stained glass? Um what you maybe you guys can share like what you're gonna paint. <laughs> okay, yeah, I will use the next one will be cerulean. I can, I'm gonna use cerulean. Cerulean blue is one of my favorite blue colors. Okay, I'm gonna use it. Um yeah, I think just here and there. Is it just too obvious? I don't know. Like, is it too much? Or should it be less? Like, dab it. Oh, you're gonna do? Nice. Oh, they run around. That's scary. Ah, okay. I probably wouldn't want to go. <laughs> Sounds really scary. What if they bite you? Like, are you insured? Like, what if you get, get bitten? Like, uh, that's pretty dangerous, isn't it? Okay, so I added a bit of uh, trans the cerulean, cerulean blue, but I think it's a little bit too soft. So I'm going to just make it a bit stronger. Okay. 
So the, the, the problem with granulating colors is that it does not allow you to make to do a very like um deep, like a, a very soft um uh, homogeneous wash. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna use um the same. I'm gonna use the I find like I <laughs> am just using just the ochre a lot. It's probably one of my favorite colors. I don't know why it didn't appear on um, our limited palette challenges. Okay. Yeah. That's about it. That's about it. Okay. There you go. And then uh, what's next? I think I later on I need to think about how to uh, need about I need to think about adding colors uh, to the uh, adding the shadows because I think this is something that I have not done yet like the shadows I have not thought about the shadow part so I will be painting uh, I will be using oh I don't have it ah let me let me check okay I think I need an Apis yellow. I like the uh, like kind of a muted creamy color. Okay, I'm gonna use the Kusakabe one. Not recommended because it's opaque, but I think I need to use a bit of opaque color because I want a bit of like creamy, creaminess, like a soft, like a germblin color. No, no, no. It's just a napus, kind of a light brown, like um color okay so it will go on go on our like uh the curtains okay so the whole thing looks like like that very soft like the sunlight just coming through like this um yeah i'm gonna use it here as well on the chair okay notice i haven't touched on the carpet yet ah I'm gonna use the same color. So actually, there are many ways to paint this. You know, I'm just decided to approach this by using the uh, kind of an illustrator style, like keeping things very soft and um, uh, granulating, and uh, yeah, like careful, like painting it carefully, because you can paint it in a very different manner. Like if you want to. You can do, you know, like uh, any, you know, weird texture if you like to. Like you can do it in another way if you want to. Okay. Uh, okay, but the mirror. Mm, okay, I will just paint. Uh, uh, just kind of uh, something. So it does not look like it's bare, you know. But if there's someone who want to add like a person staring in or out from there, it's fine. So I'm just going to paint uh i'm not gonna even to i'm not gonna write like draw so i'm just gonna i see i can see i'm painted a little bit here and i'll use a bit of that red like this so this is the potter's pink with a bit of cobalt violet okay it's just kind of a reflection the room yeah okay yeah we'll see that's how it is and then I'm um, gonna just use the mm, I think cerulean blue, okay, a with a bit of that color that we the neighbor's yellow color. Maybe I'll add a bit. Yeah, I'll add a bit of the mahogany brown as well. I'm gonna just let the color just yeah. Ah, too much. All oh, right. Okay, and then over here as well, I'm gonna paint this part, and I will use a bit of cerulean, just like by itself, like cerulean blue on its own. Just drag it down, and we have a bit of like a shadow coming in this way, like this. So it's kind of nice and flowy, and yeah, it's just nice. Yes, well, yeah, and I'm just gonna drop in. Okay, I'm gonna make this a bit smaller so you guys can see how it is looking right now. 
Okay, so this is how it looks right, right now. Looks like right now. I feel like this part is a little bit too dark, so I might... Oh, I'm having a bit of... Uh, ooh, okay, yeah, better now. Yeah, so this part is a bit dark, so I'm thinking maybe I should do another layer here because it's looking a bit streaky on some places. But I mean, if you're using a granulating color, yeah, this is this is what this is kind of expected, you know. And then I'm gonna just mix the cerulean blue with a kind of a dark color, the mask violet. Okay, so it's kind of interesting. I've never done these two colors together before. I think they are looking pretty interesting. So the color looks like this. It's like a gray, right? Oh, <laughs> Greg says, ah, all the finery mixed with the rusticness of the granulation brings to mind. Oh, oh, great expectation. Yeah, it's it's really, yeah, I, I feel like in a granulation, you know, it's a it's a nice thing to, it's a nice, uh, we, we very suitable for like country house, like rustic scenes and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, best. Like, I don't think you can, like, especially the, the thing that you can't use, like, granulating colors would be those, like, ultra modern, sleek, uh, you know, uh, glass houses, you know, stuff like that. Those stuff, like, thing if you're painting, you, I don't think you can use any of those for uh, any of the granulating colors. So, I really like to paint, um, you know, uh, modern buildings. I don't like to paint modern buildings because it is strange to do granulation, you know, like to use granulating colors on them. So I almost, I mean, I try not to, but you know, I'm Urban Sketcher, so sometimes I don't have a choice. Uh, yeah, so yeah, that's about, you know, having, finding the right subject to use and what kind of like, like uh, uh, paint to use. And I think that it's pretty effective in like landscapes and then like if you're painting like rocks and sand and like stuff like that would be really good. So I, I am, as you can see, I'm painting with two hands. Ooh, I didn't know I had that in me. Okay, so I'm just doing the texture on the, you know, the, the details on the the the, the um, curtain. Looking like it's a bit spotty though. <laughs> no, not, not so much a uh, texture. Um, not so much a, a, what do you call it, a good, not a good thing, like feel like I'm actually making it look worse. Okay, try my best. Yeah, these like, these textures, I mean like these like details here, you know, for like uh, trees and stuff. So I think this is a kind of a good way to, to paint, you know, like you want a bit of texture and, you know, you want a bit of, you know, uh, you want it to be soft, you know, this is, yeah, painting with two hands is the way to go. Uh -huh. Okay, all right, so this is how it looks like right now. I'm still thinking this part is so dark, right? Hmm, I think about what to do with it later on. Okay, then I am thinking of getting this color that I hate. <laughs> I'm going to get it. It's uh, one of those colors that we use in one of our uh, challenges. So um, one of the, you guys remember the gummy bear challenge that we did? Uh, I think Nancy would remember it. Uh, it's one of those palettes that we use and like none of us like it. It was so hard to paint with. Um, maybe Zuhan has done it, has used that too, right? The gummy bear. Like, no, I think it's one of those palettes that it's just so hard to use. Oh, granulating paint is only useful for painting for backgrounds. Ah, okay. Yeah, I like to use it on like like walls, you know, like old houses and they have walls and, and sometimes it is just totally white. It does not look nice at all. So I like to use granulating color like potter's pink just to add some texture to it. It looks nice. I'm going to bring that color, like the color. I think it's queen... Let me look for it. So white knights color. White knight. Where are you, white knights? I think white knights. It's funny. My white knights. Um, my white knights has taken over my core pet um tray. Core tin. Core tin. Okay. 
So, ooh, the, uh, oh, you see, that's the problem with not sticking it down. Ah, why didn't I stick it down? Okay, so this is um, all my, my White Knights color. I don't have a lot. Like, I haven't even opened up these two, okay? Um, this is the one that I am talking about, the uh, PV-19 Queen Lilac, okay? So this is um, probably quite useful here. Oh, I'm really infringing on the RGS Pro space. Whoops. I don't know. I think when you paint, like, who, who, I don't think anyone would, like, paint and, like, organize at the same time. Like, who here, who here does, like, both? Like, you paint and you organize at the same time. I think probably none of us. You know, when you paint, you kind of get very, you know, distracted. You just want to paint and you don't really think too much about, like, and like keeping stuff clean and, and keeping stuff right. So this is the color, the queen um, lilac is this color, okay? So I think it will be nice for the details on the on the cushion um, and on this lampshade over here. Ah, Greg says, uh, oh, I paint my neighbor's house from my house, from my windows, and the granulation is nice because this, ooh, it's too cold, brick and stone, and stone around me. Mm, yeah, yeah, I think so. A lot of stucos here and some are cracked. Some is cracked. Oh. Oh, okay. You mean where you are? Nancy? Where you where you, you are stay like stay? Okay, I hope this would work because um this color is very strong, so I hope it will not take away all the... Yeah, I guess it's okay. So, yeah. Yeah, I think this kind of is all right. Like, it can... Oh, I have to present it again. So, let me just add to it. Yeah, so... Yeah, as you can see, you know, the uh, lamp shade over here, pretty strong. Okay? Like, the lamp shade, right? Uh, on there. And then I think here as well, and then some of the carpet, carpet, okay? So I'm just slowly adding stuff. <sighs> okay. So I'm, I think a good round brush is all you need, you know, for, for painting. You don't need other colors. You don't need other brushes because you can do details with it. You can do flat wash, like a big wash as well. So you just need one brush. So yeah, I'm I'm loving this one. This is from Escoda. Okay. So these are all the little things, the details. But sometimes I think it's um I I would use a smaller brush for fine like finer brush for finer details. There, okay. So I hope, yeah, I hope it's visible. So this is the, these are the uh, cushions. And then I'm going to use this also for the um, carpet. All right, so there. And all these details. Don't know how this, Oh, this is madness. Okay, you guys can see me, right, painting the, yeah. Oh no, I got it onto the chair. Ah! Problem is, this is, I hope I can quickly just remove it because this is queen lilac, lilac, and I don't want it. It might uh, stain stuff. Okay, so the sun, I don't I want to keep it a little bit less. Um, yeah, I don't want it to be too too distinct. So some it should have a bit of like disappearing edges, some places. This one here as well. Okay, I'm just kind of quickly check. Okay, on this side, interestingly, I think that is closer to the sun. It kind of looks more like red. So I'm gonna use perlene, perlene maroon. Okay, which I really love as well. So this is Perlin Maroon. 
So here is Paralin Maroon. Okay, it's a very beautiful red color. Ah, okay, Nancy says, if the owners use duct tapes on the outside like they do inside, they would use it. Huh? Oh, no. What? Why? A lot of stucco here and occasionally bricks and stones in the ah, richer areas. I see, okay. And Kathleen says she can't see any neighbours. What? <laughs> yeah, she is in the country, isn't it? <laughs> Yeah, I know, right? The I, I cannot imagine having to deal with beavers and like like um blow up their mind like their 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 dam. So I think Kathleen really sound very far, like very um countryside kind of. But it, it's a nice. I think it's interesting. Like I have never, I have never gone like been to places like this. I'm I'm, I'm like kind of a city. I grew up in a city. I'm always a city person. Like if you if you ask me to I don't know like fish I probably can't. Um, I can't climb a tree. I probably never tried climbing a tree before in my life. So if you throw me into the wild, I will die. I think I'd be the first to die. So yeah. We are just too, too spoiled. So this is my two-tone carpet. And Holly says, my neighbor could, would, oh, he could duct tape his house. He could. <laughs> okay, wait, my, my neighbor would duct tape his house also if he could. <laughs> okay. Nancy says, oh, we have coyote, hawk, possums. Ooh, falcons, ravens, crows, and and oh, parrots. Okay, in Singapore, we see minor pigeons, cats, beavers. No, 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 otters. Wild boar sometimes. Plenty of lizards, cockroaches, ants, termites, snails. That's all. <laughs> Very sad. Sometimes we get monkeys. Okay, but that's all. <laughs> yeah, she's in a like a very enjoyable place, right? Like very uh, out there. Hey, Peter. Alrighty. So I'm gonna paint more of these uh, details. Oh, I forgot. I'm supposed to do the shadows, right? Okay, just give me a moment. And I think I'll also try to use some of these like yeah, on the furniture, and I'm gonna use a bit of blue. Okay, it's a really blue, maybe with a bit of uh, what is this color? Lunar blue, or is it also oh, the light? Okay, love sort of light. So the light is one of the most wonderful color ever. Okay, I'm gonna use sort of light. For the shadows, so extravagant. <laughs> you could also, you can also use. Um, I want to use a very light wash of it though, and then uh, it's like kind of a marble top. So let's have a bit of details here, like just a bit. Need a bit. Need to be very a little bit stronger for some of these. I'm using one brush. Okay, I'm just using one brush. Okay, then I'm gonna do the shadow using solar light. And then here as well. So here I will just kind of use a lighter, like I think the shadow is kind of here. So as you can see, I'm, I'm kind of <laughs> just using just um, granulating colors. I'm, I'm crazy like. <laughs> Use all granulating colors. Only use granulating colors for the challenge. Ah, oh, Massachusetts. Nice. And Gina says, I climbed a tree once. It was awesome. How do you do that? Like, what, do you do it when we were younger? I, I don't know. I don't think I can ever. <laughs> I cannot. I can't imagine living somewhere with just monkeys. Sounds like a zoo animal. No, okay. We have a reservoir. So a reservoir is where we have like a water, like it's a water body, right? And then 
Um, it's for our water, like they, they kind of catch the water rainfall and then like it's for water supply. So there's this place called MacRitchie Reservoir, Reservoir in Singapore. And there's it's filled with monkeys and you see like troops of them um, just running around. Uh, moms, like mummy, mummy ram monkey with baby monkeys and they're just kind of like walking. Um, and you've got to be really careful with them because they will snatch your, your food. They were like, they were... They are, they're evil. I mean, I wouldn't say they're evil. I mean, they're just trying to survive, right? And sometimes they just need food. So just be very careful if you are, like, visiting uh, the reservoir. A lot of people go to the reservoir for, um, like, to exercise. They, they would, like, kind of run. And, and like, sometimes you get attacked, like, monkey attack. So just, just, just be careful. Yeah, like otters. <laughs> monkeys can be evil. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the lilac is an inspired choice. Yeah, it is nice, huh? I think it's so good, so so well done, you know. <laughs> Nancy. Oh, you want to live on the island? Oh, no, it's not wrong. I think it's 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 time for you to go and live in the island. <laughs> but I don't know. I, I'm living on the island. I don't I don't know. It's different, I guess. Like it, it's um, our island is it's it's uh, it's just a city. It's not even a. I don't even consider that we have any like island, uh, life at all. Like if you consider it, you know, there's no island life. It's just city life for us here. Yeah. <laughs> and he poses. Must use one of every pain. <laughs> I don't know how many pain have I used. I don't know. <laughs> That's the point, you know, when you have, when you, when you have, when this is not, when it was a, um, a, short, a, a limited palette challenge, you, you, I don't have a, I don't have a choice, right, what to use. So when it's not, I'm going to use, I'm going to use whatever I have and I'm going to have fun just using, ha ha ha. It's the best time to just have fun with your paint. So that's, that's how it goes. And uh, yeah, just don't forget, like, there's also these shadows. So I'm going to paint it in as well. And then I think there's a bit of shadow going on here. Okay. And uh, some shadows going on here. Okay. And then even here as well, there's a bit of, like, kind of a... Like, I feel like I've been, like, neglecting the uh, dining hall, the room. Oh, let's just, let's just do a little bit of, like, green, like, here. Okay, I almost forgot. So, something going on here, okay? <laughs> Monkey equals evil. <laughs> they, they're just very scary. I hate it when they, like, you know, screech at you, like, they show their fangs and everything. I've never gone very close to any of them, like, before. I never had an issue with them. But I've seen, like, they will snatch stuff from you. They would, like, pull your hair. They, they would, I don't know. <laughs> it's pretty scary. Living on an island is tough. It's rough. Yeah, you know, it's like it's like being stuck with uh you need to you need to find a volleyball to live with. <laughs> and Greg says, I hate I hate driving, so I've always wanted to live on oh Mac Macino Island. There's no cars allowed on the island. Oh, there's also somewhere that you can stay. Um Grindelwald. No Grindelwald. Oh, I forgot that place is in Switzerland. So it's a little village on the top of the mountain and there's no cars allowed. So that's probably... Uh... And you live on top of a mountain. So you know, if, if, if I get to choose where I want to live in, any part of the world, that's probably one of those places that I'll stay in. Like you get, you get good mountain view, there's no car, you get to climb the mountain. You have cows, you have your, I don't know, like beautiful view. Nice. Oh, you're gonna be a gardening artist. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, it didn't happen even when, where you did eventually move to. Okay, you moved to the West Coast. Well, I, I don't know. I, I guess um, these are kind of, I don't know, is that like one of your regrets? Like, is it one of your regrets? Oh, it's an island at Great Lakes. Oh, vacation spot. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Holly says you went to Mackino Island a few summers ago. 
Oh, you go crazy on your bike. Okay. <laughs> oh, islands are nice. Okay, limited in. Ah, okay. Very high cost of living. I wonder how that is like, like living in an island. I'm so sorry. I'm like just in a small island in Singapore. <laughs> I really don't know how. Like, it's so nice to be in such a big country. And Gina says, I just discovered an empty job that works for an apostle too. Oh, oh yeah, it does. I'm drawing flowers on my empty tea. Like it's metal like color with alcohol hall markers. <laughs> nice. That's really nice. <laughs> Oh, so do you mean you draw on the empty on um, empty tea light with the with the pen? Oh, I guess it works. Even like anything with a pointy edge would do. Like even ballpoint would work. You know, okay, islands are. And I think Ari says, uh, I want to move somewhere with four seasons. That's not hot, very hot, wet. <laughs> oh, yeah, you don't want to move somewhere out of Southeast Asia. <laughs> I know where you want to go, Ari. You want to go Japan, don't you? <laughs> And where you get Hobin <laughs> at a cheap price. So I think that's like I, I I think more or less done. No, 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 no. Wait, hold on. Let me just kind of check this a little bit more. I think I need to add a little bit more of cerulean blue. Okay. On some of these like spots. Okay. Let's not forget. Because there, there's definitely some shadows everywhere. So it's just somewhere that I will <laughs> want to move to Hokkaido and be all the cows. No, you don't want to. You might end up as a Wagyu. <laughs> that would be horrible. <laughs> that reminds me of a uh, blog user Staken uh, video. So he shared one of the videos, I think cars with guns, no, cows with guns or something. So it's about cows like rebelling not wanting to be eaten so yeah you might become the first the cow there with guns yeah. <laughs> so actually you know in fact japan they i read some i mean if you're on uh what's that one uh if you are on um uh, tiktok or some of those videos they, you see a lot of like them uh you know uh talking about how e easy or cheap it is to get like a house like those they have tons of those like houses um, abandoned old houses and, and like foreigners could buy one of the houses and I don't know stay there <laughs> yeah so are you considering that you know one of those things that BRGS Pro and I want to do like one of these days I don't know when is to go Japan right and then um one of those like visit those like um uh out of the beaten on the beaten path out oh, of the beaten path um I, maybe a town or village and just stay there you know for a few days and just kind of mingle with the villagers if there are any of them you know, I think the only concern I have about this like little thing, like little adventure that we want to do is what if we stumble upon a uh, um, uh, village and there's no one there? Would that ever happen? I know like other than Fukushima, like definitely if you go to Fukushima, you you not get there would not be any one there, but would that happen? Like I think my sis my sister went to Hokkaido recently and they stumbled upon this like abandoned onsen hotel. And you know, I don't know, it's just a very random thing. Like she it wasn't something that she go went like uh just to see it. So I feel like I feel like this is some a bigger issue than than reported like in Japan, like having going to abandon, like stumbling upon abandoned places and a lot of places being abandoned because people are all in the city city and, and no one's in the in the outskirts, you know, in the countryside. <laughs> no work, no stress, just move. <laughs> and Holly says, I grew up across the street from a cow farm. That was a lot of move. <laughs> Not just move, but poo as well. I don't know about you guys, but cow poo, not, not, not something I fancy. And Ari says, funny enough, my first name is Wagyu. Oh, 
what you so you're like <laughs> what you like i'm sure you'd be laughed ab- uh, about right like people will be uh they have this this thing about you and like what you be kind of stuff i don't know <laughs> that's not that's mean of them <laughs> and greg says the only manga i read takes place in in hokkaido so naturally my favorite place in the country huh which manga did you read that takes place in, in Hokkaido? Don't all manga take place in uh, Tokyo? <laughs> Car with gun sounds very Texas. Yeah, I got oh. I don't know if it comes from Texas, but yeah, go Google it. It's it's kind of interesting. I I, I thought it's pretty fun. <laughs> oh, it was free range, not a factory farm. Oh nice. And then you get like little sheep dogs like rounding them up. Right? No? Or is that sheep? Oh, wait, I said sheep dogs. Oh, I'm sorry. But how do you write, right? Round them up, round them up. Right? Do they, do, you, do they have dogs to do that? And Kevin says, we have more cows than people in our town. What? <laughs> oh, kiddo. More than moo. <laughs> My high school was in a farm area. So he probably am very, you, you are um, very moo. <laughs> more than moo. Oh, okay. Golden Kamui. I have not seen that one before. Okay, let me Google. Golden Kamui. Oh, oh, looks interesting. Oh, it's um, what's the story about? So it follows this veteran of uh. Japanese war in his quest to find a huge fortune of gold of the Ainu. Ah, Ainu people, helped by an Ainu girl. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Sounds like an interesting um, manga. Is that, is it, a, it it's, also in an, it's also an anime. Ah, interesting. Okay. Oh, okay. Is it on, 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 uh, what's that one? On Netflix. If it's on Netflix, eh, eh. <laughs> maybe I could watch a few. So, yeah, anyway, I think I am about done. I will go back and think about, like, making it darker, probably. Uh, yeah, I don't know. So far, it looks fine. Like, this part needs a bit of help. I may think about what to do because I feel like this is, I may need to add a bit of darker red color. I don't know. It's looking a bit too patchy for my liking. But like I'm keeping it this way because I want our work to stand out because if it's too strong, it's going to be, yeah, it's going to take up, it's going to like overpower um, our, our drawing or painting. So yeah, that's it for tonight. And I am so pleased that I end before 12 o'clock. Is it like 11.55 or something right now? So before I end, I'd like to just thank people, okay? I, I, I seldom end so early, so I just like to thank people. Special thanks to supporters uh, who have uh, who helped to uh, maintain this uh, website, I mean this this uh, channel, like Rudy, Blog so is Taken, Catherine K, The Cloth Shutter, Tracy K, Mavis, Gina, thanks Gina, and uh, Gregory, uh, Sarah, not Sarah, um, and Nancy, thank you Nancy, thank you so much. So thanks for your support. Uh, that's that's how I uh, manage to do this um, all, all the time, you know, every every week. And I, there's two ways to, to support the channel. Either send me a super chat, super sticker on YouTube when I do the use the live stream, or you can treat me to a coffee on coffee. Um, that's ko fi Eureka Wonders. So I think um, it would if you are like planning to help in any way, um, yeah, go to coffee and then just uh, yeah, treat me to a cup of coffee because I do post stuff there and you get to download it for free, right? If you, you know, yeah, if you donate. <laughs> oh, okay. So the first season kind of have rough animation. Ah, okay, okay. <laughs> so Hippo says bye. <laughs> Yay, thank you, Hippo. And thank you. Thanks, Greg. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh my god, Gina. Gina, thank you. So Gina um did a super chat again. Thank you so much for your help. Thank you so much for your coffee. Gina is so supportive. Thank you so much. Everybody give her a round of applause and give her a thumbs up. Yay, thanks, Gina. 
Gina is always, um, <laughs> I can't thank her enough, you know, um, so supportive. So I hope to, um, I will, I, I think today's stream um, goes quite well. I didn't have the, uh, you know, the, the, the uh, randomness where we, we kind of have breaking off like uh, video and stuff and sound was okay, video, visual is okay. So I, I, I'm pretty close, but I'm going to get like the Ethernet, Ethernet and I, I will be connecting this like straight, like this like laptop straight to the the router and it's i hope it'll be much faster and when i upgrade if i will i will try upgrading to 100 um <laughs> 1080p um when i upgrade to 1080p um you guys will get better quality uh video okay thank you thanks gina thanks wanderers thank you nancy thanks greg thank you everybody thank you do please submit your work okay so you can either uh, do submit your uh, whatever you want to add to this room um you can add a person sitting here someone standing someone uh, you can draw something to put on the wall uh, on the painting someone standing behind you can do someone looking here you can do something here I know um, Ari is going to be here at the fireplace. I will be here as a Christmas tree, right? And um, I think Tuhan's going to take this one, the spot. Um, and I think Greg's going to be somewhere here or here, okay? He has a center, very interesting center. Um, and yeah, and I think Nancy wants to do a straight stained glass, so it will be here. And someone, yeah, do whatever you want, okay? Thank you, everybody. And I'll see you guys again next week when we combine all our forces together. Oh, wait. And we have Paolo. So Paolo's going to be on me. <laughs> his his uh, decoration, Christmas tree decoration is going to be on my tree. So, yeah, everyone, take care. Um, stay healthy uh, and have a great uh, week, right? <laughs> have a great time and see you guys again next uh, next week. And do submit your work. Two ways to do so on Discord. Send me an email, ereka1 at hotmail.com. Um, another thing is, oh yeah, I know. Nancy, I forgot to ask you about your breakfast. You're having French toast. Is that just, just French toast? Or are you going to have it with maple syrup or honey or butter? Or wait, it already has butter in it. Or jam? Or I don't know, <laughs> what else are you going to put inside? So other than that, you can also uh, send it to me via DM on uh, Facebook or Instagram. Maple syrup. Good choice. And I can wash it down with, I mean, I would eat it with coffee, right? But you can have it with tea, maybe a gray, like with milk would be good. Yeah, whoa, sounds like a nice breakfast. Like, oof, I'm so hungry. Just hearing uh, that it's um, 12 a.m. in Singapore and it's time for me to sleep. So thank you so much. Do submit your work, okay? And of course, remember, we have the uh, a, a postcard exchange. So if you have signed up for it, uh, do send me the postcard as you, soon as you can. Um, and I will consolidate and I will send them out uh, once I receive. So I have not received any. I hope I will receive at least a few uh, next week and can show you guys uh, those uh, uh, postcards. I mean, just to show you guys the postcard, but not the exact postcard, you know? Yeah, you know what I mean. Okay, thank you so much. And I'll see you guys again next week. Uh, do submit your artwork, okay? And bye-bye, everyone. Happy pre-Christmas. See you. Thanks, Gina, again. Bye-bye. <laughs>